failed IVF, what next? So in my practice, very often I see couples with one or even multiple failed IVF cycles. So when I have such a patient, the first thing that I do is take a step back, go over everything all over again, the medical history, the test results, and the details of the IVF cycle which they have already undergone. How was the response to stimulation? How many eggs were retrieved? Was the egg quality good? How many of those eggs fertilized? What day was the embryo transfer carried out? Was it a day three transfer or was a long culture done? How was the lining of the uterus? These are the things that I would like to know before embarking on another IVF cycle for you. Maybe I will advise you to repeat an AMH test. Maybe I'll ask your husband to get a DFI test done. If your lining didn't look very good, probably I'll advise you to get a hysteroscopy done. So what is most important to look at is the egg quality, sperm quality and hence the embryo quality, the quality of the endometrial lining. If everything has been good, then your chance of success in an IVF cycle, I would say, would vary between 40 to 60 percent. If everything has been good and in spite of everything being good, you've not been able to conceive, I will probably explain to you or advise you to go through an ERA cycle or endometrial receptivity array. If your age is more, if you're above 35 or 36, I will explain to you about the risk of having genetically abnormal embryos and maybe discuss the option of PGTA with you. So a failed IVF cycle does not end the story for you. You can definitely try again, but we need to revisit and probably change some things to optimize your chances in the subsequent cycle.